Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. <clears throat> Today is Sunday, February 28th, and it's 9.16 a.m. Now, um, let's see, it was Trisha sent me this. And I can tell you about it because it's on YouTube. I want to share this YouTube video with you. Now here's the deal. The title is Media and Big Tech Lie. Vaccine not approved by FDA. Still a clinical trial. Okay. It's 11 minutes and 26 seconds. Basically it is, it is showing you the words on the FDA's own pages of their, what you could find out yourself if you go to FDA and information on the um, COVID vaccine. All right, let me see if I can fast forward to or I could show you something. I, I can't stand the first two minutes. It's just showing someone getting a shot over and over. You know how those, what is it called? The videos are like a minute max, and they just, you can, you can. Jasper, what are you doing? I think he loves to get my attention when I get on here. What is that? Is he jealous? Okay. Here. All right. He's showing you... Jasper, stop that. Stop. You'll tear up your new rug. Yeah, I got him a fuzzy, shaggy, green rug to play on. He, I wanted him to have his own space. And he's trying to pull the rug up by the shag. If that makes any sense. Anyway, back to this. Um, it's on, on, let me blow this up. On the FDA's site, this is dated 2-27-2021. He's got it highlighted, so it would be a little hard, but I just want to give you an example. The FDA issues emergency use authorization for third COVID-19 vaccine. Today, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, the people that are supposed to protect us from drugs that have not been approved for use because they have not finished their clinical trials. Yet, they've approved this for emergency use. Now, for a, let me read on or I'll get myself in trouble. Food and Drug Administration issued an emergency use authorization or an EUA for the third vaccine for the prevention of coronavirus disease. 2019 or COVID-19. Now that's funny. I never heard of anybody refer to it as the coronavirus disease. I guess people were wondering what the D stood for. Caused by severe acute respiratory syndrome. See, the actual illness here is SARS. And they put that, is it in parentheses? Oh, acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus, too. Okay, and then they put in parentheses SARS-CoV-2. SARS-CoV-2. Well, when did we have CoV-1? Well, for years now, coronavirus, they say, 
they say has been causing common cold, bronchitis, you know, which cold leads to bronchitis. You don't just start off with bronchitis usually unless you have chronic bronchitis. And that's another ball game. The point is, it's a very common virus and most people that get exposed to it don't even have symptoms. Okay, but now all of a sudden there, this illness that has been going around, they're calling it SARS. Dash Cove 2. And they've made vaccines supposedly in a hurry um, for it, for emergency use, because we're actually, you know, because they say we're actually in a pandemic and we got to stop it and everything. Get people back to work and back to school and back to life. Right? People want to get back to their lives. Like all these people here, they're tired of nobody can come see them except their immediate family only. Okay. And that's bad. And the people on the second and third floor can't have any visitors whatsoever. Not inside the building. No, no. They have to go out on the patio and see them through a shower curtain, basically like a very thick shower curtain, but bigger, hung across the end of the patio, and there's a door there, and people can bring the resident out. I believe I've mentioned this. The resident can sit on one side of the curtain and the family on the other. Okay, now let me move on down the line here. He brings up that... Um, the, the, the title for this section is What are the plans for continued monitoring of COVID-19 vaccines authorized by FDA for emergency use? Question mark. What are the plans for the continued monitoring? The FDA also expects and he has this part highlighted Manufacturers who receive an EUA, Emergency Use Authorization, to continue their clinical trials to obtain additional safety and effectiveness information and pursue licensure or approval. Now, when they brought that stuff here, it was the Pfizer and something. I can't remember now, but it was the Pfizer one. mRNA. Uh, we got a bunch of pages, and one of them was the consent form. One of them was instructions on when they were coming, what time to be in your floor's lobby, uh, sit in the chair and don't move around. I don't know what that was about, but anyway, which left people not six feet apart. Those little lobbies out there are little, and there's like 20 people on each floor, and it seats four. Go figure. <coughs> <coughs> anyway, so that's how they did it. And there was, I uh, do not remember anything about it being a clinical trial. I saved the papers. I will look. It would take me a little bit to find them. I know they're in that ottoman right there. But uh, I'll look. I'll see if it says it's still a clinical trial. Okay, what this guy is proposing, okay, he's talking about it through all of this. Okay, and I'm trying to get him to turn the page. 
Okay, he went too far. There's a clinic. There's a cl uh, a clinic. Um, a thing to click on if you need it in Spanish. Anyway, he's talking about. Let's see if. Hold on a minute. And it's a mechanism to facilitate the availability and useful use of medical countermeasures, including vaccines during public health emergencies, such as this uh, a pandemic here. Under an EAU, the FDA may allow the use of an unapproved, see, unapproved medical products or unapproved, unapproved, unapproved uses of approved medical products in an emergency to diagnose, treat, or prevent serious life-threatening, yada, 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 yada. No, folks. No. Don't let Google blow smoke up your you-know-what. They're trying to. Don't let Facebook, don't let these clowns, don't let these fascists. Okay, what he was talking about was in the beginning he had mentioned if you go to Google and you put in like in the search bar um, a question about is the vaccine approved or something like that. They, you know how underneath each video about COVID, there's a, a little statement about the CDC. Go here for the facts about C, the, uh, the COVID coronavirus uh, illness or vaccination, depending on what it's talking about. Go here for the facts about it. Okay. Well, so that's YouTube and Google and Facebook and all the places that are um, censoring us from what we can say. See, he's he is using mainstream media to get his information. He started out on a CBS site. CBS, I believe that was right. Um, for some information, and now he's in the FDA, uh, and then their information that they put up for you to find. So he's using their information. He's not using lies, like they tell us we're using when they censor our videos. They don't want us lying to anybody, right? Right? They want us to tell you the truth. So that's what he's doing. And then he goes on to say uh, that you, anybody... Log has... patient information in their state immunization registries to track which shot was given. As two vaccine candidates from pharmaceutical giants like Pfizer and Moderna are currently pending emergency use authorization from the FDA. This will make it easier for doctors and healthcare providers... To find that information if a patient was unsure of the vaccination details. Unsure. Oh, right. If they're unsure, then they go to the FDA site. It's easier now for them to pull up the information that they can print and hand off to the patient or read to the patient or whatever, however a doctor would approve would or he may have it memorized, or he just has his own version, and he tells you, oh, you definitely need this because so many thousands, hundred thousands have died of this or are ending up with long, what they're calling long-haul COVID, or whatever they're telling them to get them to take it. And... The thing of it is, are they really keeping up with, see, like in a real trial, or well, I shouldn't put it that way, because this is a real trial, they, um, you have to go back and get your temperature taken, all your vital signs. They ask you several questions about, are, are you, have you had this? Have you had that? Do you feel this way? Do you feel that way? 
And then there's the, my daughter took part in a vaccine trial. This is how I know this. She got two or three shots. She didn't know if she got the placebo or not. This was back when she was in college before she um, got, got wise to exactly how vaccines work. She was in PA school. Okay, actually she did this when she was still in pre, what you'd call pre-med. She took pre-med courses to get, actually become a forensic scientist. Yeah, that was her goal. And then she decided, no, I don't want to work with dead people. Thank God. Anyway, that would be gross. I mean, how could you sleep at night? But anyway, um... She ended up becoming a PA. So she took that trial, and she, every time she went back, even if it wasn't for a shot, it was just for a checkup, you know, they asked her all these questions, took her vital signs, and they wanted to know how she'd been feeling, and she could write a paragraph if she wanted to explain anything they didn't ask. Okay, like any other symptoms. Okay, so... That went on for a while. And then she said all of a sudden they went, got up and left and never didn't tell anybody. She never knew if she took it, if she didn't take it. And ever since then, she's never had a vaccine. She's refused the flu vaccine even where she works. And I know that's why they fired her from the U system over here that she worked for even though she got a Christian lawyer in North Carolina cost her $500 to sit and talk with her for three hours over the phone to tell her how to write a letter stating the right words and law and the law number and write it out the way the law is written out, this thing took three hours. She turned it in, and they so they let her get away without taking a flu shot. This They were mandating flu shots up here. And this was five years ago, I think. Well, anyway, maybe three. Um, three or four. Anyway, the point is... The first little thing she did wrong after that, they fired her when they wouldn't have normally because people did it all the time. It had to do with the HIPAA violations, right? What she did was not a fireable offense, but she just let it go, and she went on her merry way, and lo and behold, she was being recruited by the people she works for now, and they, she wasn't out of work a week. The Lord is good. My girls are good. They are good, godly women. They just have some kind of problem with me. I don't know what it is, and I pray that the God will that God will heal their hearts. Anyway, the point is, this guy is telling people, "Look, man, you're if you got this already, you're a guinea pig, and you need to sue him." And I'm just telling you what he said. Um, because I didn't mean for this to be so long as it, as, it, as it has been. And I just wanted to tell you about it because it's yet another reason for you to tell somebody who hasn't, look, do you want to be a guinea pig for a trial? And tell them it's not approved for like regular use. Like a measles vaccine is approved for use on your children or the chicken pox vaccine it went through trials and like you're supposed to and uh, uh, the other vaccines I don't know how they can do a flu vaccine every year and say it's been through trials does that make sense to y'all it don't make it does not make sense to me but anyway I'm gonna end this here and well I got out of view didn't I I'm going to say God bless each and every one of you. If 
I'm going to plead the blood of Jesus over this video because I want it to stay up. I want people to understand um, the difference between an approved vaccine versus approved for emergency use. How is it an emergency use to give it to people who don't even have it in their environment? And why push it on anybody? Why not just tell them the truth? Let them decide. You decide. All right? I know, you You know, I put most of my videos like this up on BitChute, but this one is all straight from mainstream media. And it's on YouTube. So how can they say it's a lie it's just telling you the truth. And, uh, of course, all the others were too, but they didn't see it that way. <clears throat> Sorry, I <clears throat> had a little... <clears throat> I had a little frog in my throat. Okay, uh, anyway. I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every single one of you. Your devices and your internet connections and with that I'm gonna say bye for now I'll talk to you later